Hi, I'm no one in particular. I'm no Dave Meltzer. I'm just a meerkat, but either way, bias be damned. Azumi vs. Mei Suruga from way back in the year during the Cinderella tournament is an absurd masterpiece. Who's ready for story time with Meerkat? Okay. Albert Camus was this philosopher guy. Wait, don't leave yet. And he was famous for the Sisyphean metaphor. How Sisyphus, for eternity, was tasked to roll a boulder up a mountain only for it to roll back down. A metaphor anyone in the service industry should understand. Camus solved this dilemma that while on the path down to repeat the process over again, in that moment, Sisyphus has the control to choose how meaningful his existence can be. One must imagine Sisyphus happy. But this was Camus' answer to both existentialism and nihilism, absurdism. And Camus, he would love wrestling. And me, I base my life on it. So let's introduce the players. Azumi, the high speed champion, the speed running wrestler who has already mastered this style to pure perfection. Versus, oh, if there's anyone else who can usurp the title of cutest in the world from Tam Nakano, other than Maki Ito, it's Mei Suruga. Mei Suruga. She wrestles for Choco Pro Wrestling, a company that uses this as their ring. They remind me of a group of theater kids who loved wrestling, set up a mat in their classroom, and wrestled live on YouTube for like I don't know, no reason at all. The camera person is another wrestler, and they end each show with a song and dance number. They were an, they were an interesting pandemic watch. I mean, they don't have ropes or turnbuckles. The window seal is their turnbuckle, and they just go out and have light and playful and cute and absurd wrestling. This guy here is the luckiest man in wrestling. He's literally surrounded by cute all day. And Mei Suruga is one of their stars who Western fans know from AEW. She's a super, super adorable and bright anime character. She feels like someone who answered, What do you want to be when you grow up? with Sailor Moon. And she challenged Azumi in a cross promotional battle for the high speed championship. And she does it like this. Azumi like, so I'm gonna like, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass, and Mai is like, wee! So they have the match, the high speed bomb daughter, quick, subversive, perfect, and future best in the world, the amazing Azumi versus a literal anime character, and they start off very quickly, but Mai stops them like, and then, Oh, And then they go off to the race, speed running the match. What takes Brian Danielson a minute to do, they run through in seconds. Azumi is perfect as usual, and Mai is showing she can keep up with her strats. However, Azumi is not just speed. She always targets the arm and has many ways of doing it. We're like a minute in and three beats into the story of the match. Who is Mei Suruga? I'm cute and adorable. I'm as fast as you. And ah, my arm! And oh, but I'm still adorable. She goes, wee! And wee! And wee! My Suruga from a different, adorable, fun, absurd, seemingly no budget independent wrestling show. Her style is to be as fun and entertaining and adorable and athletic. It's a beautiful blend of technical wrestling with comedic timing. This ref spot making me laugh out loud. <laughs> But Mai is a different breed than what I normally see from other adorable wrestlers like Maki Ito. Like, number one, she actually is a quick and technically proficient wrestler who can match Azumi in style, but add in her complete absurdity to the high speed format, where the idea is that one does not simply do a move. High speed philosophy. If you can counter it, 
counter it, and then counter it again. But wrestling in a deconstructed manner gave Mai an advantage to be unique, and unique and adorable. But Azumi is still amazing. Look at her nearly die and save herself. Double stomp, and then back to the arm you forgot about. Pure punishment. Mai is in stardom where Lion Spirit resides, and one must be able to fight with valor. So she counters and counters and counters and counters and over and over and over and over and Mai with a cattle mutilation. Smooth transitions into the pins and counters and fake outs and pins and kicks right into the rest period for the final act of all high speed matches. Who's gonna get the pinfall the fastest? La Mystica into Azumi Sushi! Counted into a bridge! Kick out! Mei with a twisted sunset. But Azumi kicks out again! Now Mai with a leaping Gato clutch countered by Azumi. Then Azumi Sushi! No! Azumi drops her down and punishes the arm. But Mai, the escape artist, applies on a Mai Sushi! Azumi kicks out! Mai shocked. They fight out for the next pin with Azumi the victor and then serves another Azumi Sushi. But no, a double Azumi Sushi roll for the win. Azumi's second high speed defense of 2022 was a banger of absurd high octane and fun filled action that was both adorable and technical perfection. Azumi, as always, was brilliant, but Mei Tsuruga answered the question of the story Who is Mei Tsuruga? She's an adorable but equally quick technical fun and random superstar that confuses, subverts expectations, and just makes you smile with her adorableness. To being a perfect dance partner for Azumi was highly rewarding for me as a fan. Azumi wants to tag with her, and even though Mai won't hear a word of it, this is stardom, and stardom is an anime, where in the heart of combat, Friends are made along the way. Thank you for watching.